Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a project pan update. It's my first one for 2020. If you guys missed my initial intro video, I'll link it in the description box below if you wanna hear about why I chose the products I did and kind of my thought process behind my project pan for 2020. But I'm so excited because I feel like I've been making really good progress. I've tried to shift my mindset and I haven't been purchasing as much makeup. I do buy new makeup, I do review products on my channel, but at the same time, I think I can still focus on using and enjoying what I already have. Makeup does expire and there are so many products that I love that are already in my makeup collection So I've just been trying to make an effort to actually use them and enjoy them and if possible use them up completely And because I have cut back on buying a lot of makeup I feel like I've been able to focus on these so I have been making really good progress I've also kind of been on like a product specific no buy when it comes to a few of these categories So I am excited to update you guys and let you know how it's going So I'll share the products I used up the ones that I hit pan on kind of give you an update on the other products and then finish up up with the products that I'm actually adding into my project pan for 2020. I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below how your project pan is going. Have you used anything up? Have you hit pan on anything exciting? Let me know in the comment section below and let's jump into it and I'll share the products that I did use up completely. So I did tell myself I could not buy any additional face primers until I used up a couple of the ones that I already had in my collection. So I was able to use up the e.l.f. Oil Control Primer Mist. This is one of my favorite products and I feel like I will miss it a little bit during the spring and summer, but I actually recently got the Farsali Liquid Powder Serum and I feel like that's kind of taken its place. So I don't plan on repurchasing this right now, but it has been one of my favorites. I've enjoyed it so much and I am excited that I was able to use it up completely because like I said, I do have a lot of primers. So instead of running out and buying new ones, I've been trying to focus on what I already have. So I did use this one up. I also told myself I could not buy any brow pencils until I used up a few that I already had. For some reason, I had like four different brow pencils open and I think it's because I was testing out a couple of different formulas. So I did use up the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. I think I have the shade Dark Brown. And I'm excited that I was able to use it up completely because I've been focusing on drugstore pencils that I have. I haven't had to purchase my Anastasia Brow Wiz again, which feels really good because these are obviously a lot more affordable. And the other product that I finished up completely was the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have the shade Almond. This is my go-to concealer. I love it so much. But since I used this one up because I finished it a few weeks ago, I've really been focusing on other concealers in my collection, which feels really good. So I don't have plans to repurchase this right now. I have a couple of concealers, well, more than a couple of concealers that I really need to focus on using. And if I decide that I don't love them, if they're not staples in my collection, I might end up decluttering them and repurchasing this one. But for now, I'm happy using something else. And this took me forever to use up. I think I tried it for the first time in like August of 2018. So it was definitely getting a little bit older. And I'm just glad that I was able to finally finish it. I did hit pan on two different powders and I am excited because I really am trying to use up powders that I have in my collection. I have quite a few powders that I enjoy, but they're not all staples for me. So I wanna make sure I use the ones up that I like using and that way they don't go to waste in my collection. So I did hit pan on the e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. I'm actually almost done with this one. I feel like I'll probably use it up at some point during the month of April, but this is just a good everyday setting powder. It's not my favorite powder to lock my foundation into place all day long, but it is a nice finishing powder because it is so light and so lightweight and smooth. So a lot of the time I'll take like a big fluffy brush and just blend it all over my face after I do my foundation. And it has been good for that reason. I also hit pan on the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder, and I'm excited about that as well. I kind of use these interchangeably. I think the It Cosmetics one is nicer, but it's also a lot more expensive. But again, it just gives my face a very smooth finish. So after I do my foundation and I set it into place with a setting powder, I'll take like a large fluffy brush, blend this everywhere, and it just gives my skin like a soft, diffused look. So that's been really nice as well. So again, by the end of April, I should be able to make it through both of these completely. Actually, there are a few other products that I should finish up by April as well. The first one is the LA Girl Brow Pencil. Like I said, I'm just trying to work through a couple of brow pencils. I don't have too much of this one left. It is one of my favorite products, but I'm just trying to get through a couple of open products. So I'm focusing on this one next. And then I think I'll also be able to use up the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. I really like this eyeliner for everyday wear because it is a brush tip, so it applies very easily. But the formula, is not so rich and dramatic. That's why I kind of like it, which I didn't expect 
to fall in love with it for that reason. I've used this for years and years, but sometimes I don't want to use my Urban Decay Perversion because as I'm applying it, it's so intense and it's also like it stays in place all day long. So it's very hard to remove at the end of the night, which is fine if I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup. And obviously if I want my eyeliner to stay in place, I like that about it. But there are some days where I just wear simple eye makeup. I skip eyeshadow or I go in with like a bronzer in my crease and this eyeliner. So when I do that, it takes two seconds to remove at the end of the night because it's not waterproof. And it's just not as dramatic as the Urban Decay Perversion, which is why I do enjoy it. Unfortunately, Physician's Formula is no longer considered cruelty-free because they do sell in countries where animal testing is required by law. So I won't be repurchasing this product or anything from the brand, but I'm still going to make an effort to use it up. And you might actually see a few more of their products in my project pan at some point this year. I'm also going to finish my Bite Beauty Agave Plus lip balm. This looks really gross close up because it kind of looks like it melted. It is a very soft formula, so as you use it, I feel like the product kind of moves around. And I don't think that I will keep this in my purse during the summertime. I have two of them. I have one in my purse and then I keep one at my, like where I do my makeup every morning. And I apply it before I do my makeup and it just preps my lips so well for lip products. But I only have a little bit left, so I will be able to use this up. I like keeping one lip product in my project pan because it's always a good reminder that it takes forever to use up lip products. Although I'm going through this one kind of quickly, I think it's because it's such a soft formula. Okay, so let me give you an update on the other products that I've been using. I don't think I'll use them up anytime soon, but I'll kind of let you know where I'm at. So the first one is the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base. I would say that I've used up about a third of this product, but I think I'll end up using it more in the spring and the summer than I did in the winter time because this is more of a mattifying base and that's what I typically go for in the spring and summer. What's nice about this product is it also leaves your skin looking really smooth. So all around it's one of my favorites and I'll kind of pull this one back out and focus on using it up over the next few months. I did make better progress on the Catrice Prime and Fine Aqua Fresh Hydro Primer. This is one of my go-to primers during the fall and the winter. So I really focused on using this one during like January and February. And I would say that I have about a third of this product left. So I'll probably put it away I might reach for it on occasion, but I'll really focus on using this one during fall and winter near the end of this year. So that's where I'm at with these two primers. I think that I will be able to use them up by the end of the year, but a little bit goes such a long way. So these have lasted a lot longer than I initially thought they would. I have been using the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer more. I really like this one because it is so smoothing and I had been struggling with a lot of texture around my cheeks and I just noticed that I had some really large pores around my nose and this made such a difference because it just makes your skin look so smooth and flawless. It's not a mattifying primer and it also doesn't ensure that my foundation is going to stay in place all day long. It's more of a moisturizing, smoothing primer. So it's not necessarily my go-to when I have a really long day ahead of me, but if I feel like my skin just needs a little extra help, more of a smooth quality, I love this product because it really just, it just softens everything up and I do notice a big difference when I use it. So a little bit goes a long way and I'm not usually using it on my entire face. So I can't imagine I'll use this one up anytime soon, but it has been nice to use it more often because it's in my project pan. I feel like I've been reaching for it more than I would if it was just sitting in a drawer. This product actually surprised me. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. I have the shade 30NN. I do use this as an under eye concealer, but I've actually found that I prefer to use it as a spot concealer. I've been reaching for some really lightweight foundations or you know tinted moisturizers lately, which has been a nice change for me, but I do notice that sometimes they don't give me the coverage that I want in certain areas, and that's where this product comes in handy. If I'm struggling with a breakout or acne scarring and you know my tinted moisturizer just isn't doing it for me in that specific area, I'll just take a little bit of this product and blend it over that area and it just helps to cover that specific spot. And I was never really into spot concealing because I've always loved really full coverage foundations. And when you wear full coverage foundation, typically you don't need a spot conceal. But now that I've been switching it up and wearing some lighter coverage foundations a few times a week, I do find that I get a lot of use out of this concealer. So that's that's been really great and I'm excited about that. I think that I've maybe used up half of this so I do think I'll be able to finish it up by the end of the year and I'm really glad about that. I did put a highlighter in my project pan this year. I've never done that because I've never hit pan on a highlighter, but I just wanted to focus on one and remind myself that it takes forever to go through highlighter. That way I don't feel the need to buy 
you know, 10 additional highlighters this year. So this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. I am so excited because there is a little dent in this product. So I feel like I'm going to hit pan on it any day. I've just been focusing on using it up. And every time I want to wear like a golden highlighter, I reach for this one. And I've just really fallen in love with the formula. It's so lightweight and so smooth. And it feels good to just see progress on this product. So I think that I'll be able to hit pan on it by the end of the year. And I'm excited about that because I've never hit pan on a highlighter. There are two products that I haven't really used very much, but I will get to them. The first one is the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. Once I use up my LA Girl Pencil, I'll work this one into my brow routine, but I'm just really trying to focus on one brow pencil at a time so I can see progress. And then eventually I will get to this one and be able to use it up. I also haven't been reaching for the Fenty Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Setting Powder very much. I have the shade Butter. I kind of go through phases where I love loose powders and then I love pressed powders and I'm kind of into pressed powders right now. So once I finish up the two pressed powders that I am working on, I think I'll kind of focus on this one. For some reason, I love loose powders during the summertime. I just feel like they kind of set everything into place a little bit better and lock things into place. So I'm sure I will get a lot of use out of this one eventually, but this mini powder seems to last forever. So if you've been thinking about trying the Fenty powders, maybe pick up a mini if they have it in the shade that you want, because even though it looks small, I mean a little bit of this product goes such a long way, so even when I do use it, I don't feel like I go through it very quickly. Okay, so let me share three products that I am adding into my project pan. I did choose two additional powders because like I said, I have quite a few powders in my collection right now and I just wanna focus on using them up instead of running out and buying powder because for some reason, powder always tempts me. I just wanna try like every single new pressed powder and loose powder that comes out. So I'm really going to focus on using up these as well. So after I finish the two that I do have, I'm going to add the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix Powder Foundation into my project pan. I've talked about this in a couple of recent videos and I did kind of consider it a fail because it's not the type of formula that I like when it comes to a powder foundation. It doesn't give great coverage. It's also a little bit dry looking on the skin, but all of that being said, I feel like it's fine. Like I don't hate it enough to declutter it. I would never repurchase it, but because I do own it, I'm going to make an effort to actually use it up. So typically in order to use it, and enjoy it, I'll just use like a large fluffy brush and kind of blend it over my skin, or I'll take like a damp beauty sponge and just apply it on like the perimeter of my face because that area of my face isn't typically dry at all, so it doesn't enhance any dryness. So I found a couple of ways to use this. I'll set my eyeshadow primer into place, if I apply too much bronzer, I might use it to blend out my bronzer. There are ways to use it. So instead of wasting it, I'd rather just finish it up if I can. So I am going to make an effort to use this one up. I'm also adding the Healthy Powder from Physicians Formula into my project pan. I have the shade LN3. I was using LN2 and I actually made really good progress on it, but mine broke. I don't know what's going on with me, but I've broken like three or four products this month and I just need to make more of an effort to be careful because it sucks when you break something. Obviously, it's so wasteful and I mean I'm not doing it on purpose it happens but I feel like maybe if I was just a little bit like I tend to like be very quick like my movements are very quick obviously you see me talk with my hands all the time if I just like slowed down it made more of an effort to be like calm I feel like I would it would it would benefit me I wouldn't break as many things so anyways I do have the shade LN3 in my collection and I just want to make an effort to use it up there are some Physicians formula products that I'll probably end up decluttering because when a brand isn't cruelty free or like they They were cruelty free and then they weren't I don't feature the products on my channel anymore So I just feel like I don't end up reaching for them as much because whatever I use I feature on my channel whether it's in a good way or a bad way And if I know that I won't be featuring that brand I probably won't reach for a lot of the products very often so I probably will declutter a few of them and just pass them along so other people can enjoy them. I never throw products away just because the brand isn't cruelty free. That's so wasteful. If you already have the products, feel free to use them up, enjoy them, love them, or pass them along. But there are a few that I wanna make an effort to use up because I do enjoy them. So I've had this one in my collection. I want to use this one up as well. And again, I won't be buying any additional powders until I use up all of the powder in my project pan, including these two. 
The last product that I'm adding in is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, and I have the shade Life Beige. This really only matches me during the summer, like heading into fall, so I'm definitely going to focus on using it during that exact time period, but I love this product. I think it works so well. It's a nice full coverage foundation, but it has a matte finish. It's also really lightweight and comfortable, and they have expanded the shade range to include lighter shades and deeper shades, but I've had this bottle for a while, and I noticed that it's starting to separate a little bit more quickly. I only have about a third of the product left. I don't think it's expired yet, but I do want to focus on using it out completely. Okay guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching my project pan update. I really appreciate it. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you are in the middle of a project pan, let me know how it's going. If you have any tips or tricks, I would love to hear from you. But otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye.